Bangladesh is one of the poorest and most at-risk countries from climate change in the world. 40% of the population live below the poverty line and experience acute food insecurity. Flooding occurs every year and is becoming increasingly severe and unpredictable. In the Hawar region of northeast Bangladesh, the land on which people depend is underwater for eight months a year. Visiting the region is Russian Ara Ali, UK Member of Parliament, originally from Bangladesh. She is here to understand how Care Bangladesh is supporting local community action groups who are changing the lives of the ultra-poor in the face of regular natural disasters. One of the things I was really struck by was the way that women were organising themselves and they had positions in the village as part of the committee and the chair was a woman who took us around which was fantastic and she was very confident in the way she was explaining what they were doing. big benefits of organising in that way is that they can now uh, put pressure on local government to get some results from them with the help of CARE to try and make sustainable businesses. What's really important for me is that uh, people feel that they're in the driving seat rather than NGOs and uh, I was very pleased to see that that was the emphasis. In terms of the climate change impact, what's been interesting is seeing the way that uh, it, it, it's sort of brought home when you see the amount of land that's underwater. This area has been traditionally vulnerable, uh, but the changes in climate and rising sea levels makes it even more challenging for people. For children, it's particularly challenging, and obviously big challenges for education and healthcare. In the end, the most important thing that the international community can do is make sure that support is made available quickly to do the prevention work so that we're not left uh, having to deal with disasters uh, and the consequences of that. The poorest people are working the hardest to cope with climate change, which is affecting them here and now. Governments should be working harder to secure a legally binding climate regime to reduce global emissions. The time to act is now.